Alright, this one's going to be on this program called Oomph. It is a command line tool to parse uh, video links from YouTube. So, we'll give you an example here. So, you type in Oomph here and um, dash T for type. And let's say you want to grab someone's favorites, uh, you know, whatever they favorite over the years. Um, so, you put F here and then you type in their. Um, screen name so let's say you do my name and there you go this is like my favorite uh, that I've been saving even though if it doesn't show up like you know they hide their favorites it doesn't matter it'll still show up uh, in this feed here so let's say I open one all right and this is one of the videos that I favorite like a while ago so there you go that's how that works you can do the same thing here um, if you instead of F you use U and it'll show their uh, uploaded uh, videos okay well they only show like the last 50 okay but you can see if I open let's say open a random one I don't know what is this video oh right, here you go top 10 Linux apps here so that's from my feed from uh, or whatever user that you want to type in then uh, you can do that other things you can do with this is uh, if you want to grab someone's playlist so for example like the videos in there let's go down here so I have a few playlists here or you can use any playlist you want but uh, for example let's do this comp is one here and you see in this playlist you see there's a lot of videos that I had to put in here and if you want to list it out okay uh, you have this link up here grab the thing that it says after the PL it's like a 16 character here just grab that one copy that sucker and let's go back and I'm going to use the same program and just paste in that part and it'll list out uh, whatever's in our uh, playlist that we have here right and the first one should be the comp is on Linux Mint here same thing as uh, the first one in here right now with this thing you can also you can also say let's say you want to start it at um uh what is this one here okay maybe this one this productive comp is here so this one is let me see one two three four five six it's the sixth video and let's say we want to only list out five of the videos after that so one two three four five right so it'll be up to this part only so let's say we want that part only. You can do that in here too. Um, and how would you do that here? Let me clear this. So we use the same thing, but we're gonna change a little bit. And we're gonna say dash s to start at number six uh, in the playlist. Uh, the playlist and dash m for the max. We say we want only five, right, uh, to show up. And that's it and it will only show us five the first one being is um, what is it the productive compass one and uh, the last one being should be like the mouse fire or something right there you go alright so there you go uh, that's how you would do that uh, if you want to download like from the playlist you can do that also uh, for, for example let me CD into a temp folder though because I don't want to save this stuff and let's use oh, if you want to download the, the whole thing then you just go back to what we did earlier um, just that and at the end uh, you can pipe it through like a uh, program like I told you last time C live right if you did something like this it'll just download the whole thing the whole playlist all right, beginning with the first one, uh, this uh, compass fusion thing here. But let me cancel that. If you list it out, you see it does download this FLV file or whatever. Um, if you want to do that. Now, if you want to do, well, you can do the other thing too that we did earlier. Uh, if you want to start with uh, the video six and uh, the maximum is like five. You can do that also if you want to just pipe it out to see live. And I'll start with that video, uh, this productive compass thing here, right? Uh, so you can use that without that also if you want to pipe into see live. Other things you can do, let's say um, 
you know, instead of links, you want to see the title before or select the ones that you want. Uh, this is how you do it, okay. Let me see here. Let's go back here. And there we go, this one. And we want to push uh, dash I for interactive, right? And we're going to push enter. And this one will give us uh, a list uh, that's in the, the playlist, okay? And you can select the ones that you want. This little arrow next to it, that means it's selected. Now, if you don't want to select none of them right now, you type in, or if you want to get more help, you type in help first. And you can see that it gives you an option to download all, none, or just list it, uh, and the numbers here and all that, and quit and dump. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this little arrow means that it is selected and it will start downloading. Um, so first thing you really want to do, let's do that again though. Okay, let's clear this. But let's let's do this again. So they give us a list, and let's say we want to um, select none of them right now. So you type in none, and it gets rid of the arrows next to it, right? It's just blank uh, in front of the numbers. Now if you want to select uh, like individual ones, let's say for example I want to download this. Um, What's this one? Okay, here we go. This one, number 15. All right. You just type in 15, and you see that the arrow comes up again. Now, if you want to unselect that, you type in 15 again. But again, we want to select it, so we have to type in 15. And also, let's say I want to download, um, I don't know, let me say number 25 or something, right? So 25. So two of those only. We're just going to download two of those. And after you select it, you just type in dump. And um, it'll just download those two only, right? The element effects and this uh, scaling here. So that's how you would do that if you want to select uh, the ones that you want only. Uh, otherwise, if you want to download all of them, you don't have to do the interactive or anything like that. And that's basically the program. Very easy to use if you want to download videos like in bulk and without wasting a lot of time. Then uh, probably this is the way to go. Anyways, check that out if you're interested. It's called Oomph. Okay.